Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, Krista So Crafty. I'm Krista and I really appreciate you joining me here today. Today we're going to make a little ornament. It's like a Christmas tree. It's made out of wine corks. Now I used wine corks, some ribbon, and just some jute and made this cute little ornament that sits on a, can sit on a shelf, whatever. Now I used Christmas ribbon on this but you definitely could use like a fall ribbon, a burlap with some lace, um, make it fall related. You could even paint the centers of each of these wine corks. Now mine are you. I got my wine corks from a bar here in town. I just, we were there having supper one night and I just went up to the bartender and said, hey, would you mind keeping the bar, no, not the bar, the wine corks for me? And they said, sure. And they give me a call. I gave left my number, and of course, being in a bar, it doesn't take that long. They gave me a call, and I had a whole bag full. Well, this is just what's left. So that's what I did. You can purchase these on Amazon, or I think in Michaels, Michaels, or any type of a, a winemaking store. But I figured for crafts, I would just go to a bar or a restaurant and ask them to save me the wine corks. I really hope you join me today. Thank you and let's get going on the tutorial. All right, so the supplies we're going to need for making a cork tr Christmas tree um, is just not very many things at all. Of course you're going to need some corks. I have lots of different kinds and I'm okay with that so that it's not going to be equal and stuff but I'm okay with that. You can also probably get them off of Amazon, maybe from Michaels or Joann's depending on where you live. You're going to need some ribbon to tie around the tree and we're going to need some just some jute or whatever so I have this here I'm going to use this and of course some scissors and some hot glue. So let's jump into the video. All right, so let's just move some of the stuff out of the way. So like I said, this one here is the one I'm going to use for the base of my tree just because I like the shape of it. And I'll figure out how I'm going to put these together to make my tree. So let me move these over here. Now our tree is going to be built this way. <laughs> like so. So as you can see, my corks are not the same at all. So can you see all the, how they're so different? I'm okay with that. If you were to purchase them, obviously, or whatnot, then you would have them all the same. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to cut them. When I'm putting them together, I'm just going to center them as best I can. So for example, if these four are going to be in this row, then I will put them maybe the two long ones on the inside and then just line it up so they're they look okay that's all I'm looking for all you're gonna do is take your hot glue gun and put a strip of glue and then just stick these together and just like that can you guys hear my glue gun I think I need a new glue gun. I've had this thing for years and years and years and it just that noise it seems to be getting worse. <laughs> so we'll just do that. So your tree as you noticed will have four on one row, three on one row, two on one row and then one on another row. Okay so just take a peek that looks good to me. And this is how I build them, is I build them on the side and then I will add them together. So there's my four, here's my three, and I'm just going to continue along and gluing these together. I find hot glue works perfect for this, it doesn't seem to come apart or whatnot, and especially once you get them all, the layers all glued together. It's, it's, they're not going to come apart, so it's pretty, pretty good. So that'll be on there. And 
we'll glue these two together. Line them up as best I can. And then this will be our top one. So now I can start back down here. And I'm going to glue the three on top of the four so that it's they sit in those kind of the grooves right in there. And so what I do is I just put some glue here and here in each of the little kind of grooves, working quickly because of course hot glue doesn't take too long before it starts to set. And then I'm just going to try to get it as centered as I can. So there's that. And now I'm going to put the two piece on. I'm going to do the same thing. Oops, and of course you get strings everywhere. And put that as best as you can. And then we're going to glue our single one. And I need another glue stick. that on there just like that and that my friends is a tree <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our ribbon so this is just a ribbon I had laying around I had all of this stuff just laying around I mean I had asked I think it was last year in at the different at the one of the pubs or whatever here in town to if they would save me their corks so I still had a few left over my goal is to try to use up some stuff from my craft room I have a lot of stuff in here so what I'm going to do is just bring these uh, up and around so I'm gonna measure off probably let's see how big how long is this this is probably 21 inches long, okay? So now I'm just gonna snip that off. And flatten it out as best I can. This is a wired ribbon. I don't think that really matters, but I'm just using it because that's what I have. And I'm gonna find the center. So it's right about there. So what I'm going to do is center my tree on there. And I think I'm gonna put some hot glue. So I'm just gonna hold that in place and flip it over. And then flip this over like this. Just a few dots of glue just to help hold that in place. So again, I'll lay it back down. Get it all laid out here nice. Make sure I've got it where I want it. It looks good and then I'm just going to bring this up to the top and I think the same thing I'm going to put some hot glue on either side and just stick this in here before I try doing anything with this so we'll just bring that back now you could glue it all the way but I don't I don't think it's necessary so I think I think this will help hold it so I bring this side up and I will bring this side up and be careful not to burn yourself. I'll get my trusty little silicone finger here, and push that ribbon into the glue and try it. I'm pulling it kind of snug, not tight, but snug so that it's staying where I would in the spot where I want it. So, I think that's good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of this, some of this jute, some of this rope. I'm going to take off, I don't know, quite a bit. <laughs> and I'm just going to make a bow. So I'm just kind of spreading my fingers. I want it fairly big. Not real big, but fairly big. And I'm just going to wrap it around, I don't know, 
15 times. You decide how big you want your bow. Okay, like that. And I'm just gonna snip that off there. Snip off a little piece. And I'm going to wrap around, if I can get my fingers to work here, I'm gonna go around the whole thing and tie it up. Again, if my fingers will work. Don't worry, because it's gonna be all right. Get it pulled as tight as you can. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna trim this back a little bit. And I think I'm gonna cut all these apart so that they're all just separate. Just like that. And then just kind of spread them out a bit. And then, so if I take this, and I'm just tying a bow right here, not a bow, a knot. Oops, sorry, just trying to get it together. So not only does this help to hold the corks together, but it just adds a decorative piece. So I just tied it the one way. I'm gonna put this in between. I'm going to tie another knot in it up top here. And then I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to kind of loop it back in on itself to make like a pretend bow. Okay, and do the same with this one and I will use some hot glue to hold them together. So again, just straightening it all out here. And I need to cut that off straight. Okay, so I'm just taking it and I'm just going to fold it back in on itself, kind of tuck those ends together and stick it in the middle. And I'm going to stick that in the middle and I'm just going to put some hot glue on it and yeah. So hot glue goes there, little finger protector on, take that ribbon and just set it right down in that glue, kind of folding it in on itself. And like I said, tucking it together. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna be brave and stick my finger in there. There's one. Now this one, I'm just going to kind of do the same thing, so I'm going to twist it around this way. That's the nice thing about using the wired ribbon is you can kind of make it go where you want it to go. Okay, I'm just bringing it, kind of tucking it together and folding it over on itself. finger in there and just press down on that so that the glue catches on everything. Hold it in place for just a minute. And just muck around with it until you get it the way you like it. And there we go. So the other thing you could do is you could paint the centers of these, of the corks, if you wanted to, just to uh, give it a little bit more pizzazz. Um, I'm just gonna leave mine, and I think that I'm gonna, the only other thing I need to do is to put our little stump on. So all I'm going to do, I just about forgot to put it on. I'm just gonna put some glue on here like so, and then I'm going to put it right in the center of the tree and hold it in place. And I have it kind of sitting in between 
on those so that it's got a base, good solid base to sit on. I'm just holding that in place. You know how long glue can take. Not very long, but long enough sometimes. And there we have our little tree. I think it turned out really cute. That was fun. Stay tuned for some more wine cork crafts. I've got a couple more ideas that I've got brewing in my head and so I'll be bringing them to you. So keep an eye out for them. And I hope to see you over on my page on Facebook, Krista So Crafty. Thank you for joining me today and I will talk to you soon. Happy crafting. Thank you.